When you say the word cockroach, most people think of something disgusting. But you know, there's more than meets the eye with the cockroaches. For example, my little buddies here can provide years of loyal friendship. Isn't that right, Julio, Karen, ah, uh, Carlos? Not everyone who enjoys the company of cockroaches is a nutcase. If you're feeling sick about now, just take a minute to reconsider the roach. Out of some 3,500 species worldwide, only 35 live in association with people. So why should the bad habits of 1% give the other 99% the bad rap? That's an outrageous injustice. It is true that some of these domestic species carry bacteria, viruses, protozoas, and worms, but their role in the transmission of human diseases is exaggerated. In North America, all of the filthy domestic species are from the Old World, Europe, Asia, and Africa. The average wild roach is a clean animal that spends much of its daily time budget cleaning its antennae and sponge bathing. In nature, roaches are the house cleaners, and their importance in decomposition can't be overlooked. Just one genus in the Amazon is responsible for processing 5% of all the leaf litter. Good job! Back at the laboratory, roaches are the white mice of invertebrate research. When there's a need to test a new insecticide or death ray, the acid test is the roach test. Roaches had their heyday in the Carboniferous period. Now don't go imagining there were giant roaches. Fossil roaches are no bigger than some modern day species. Their scientific name, Bladderidae, comes from the Latin meaning those that like dark places. The love of dark cracks isn't always in their best interests. Well, that was being in the wrong place at the wrong time. The flight muscles set them apart from grasshoppers and their kin. The forewing is tough, but the hind wing is membranous. Notice the longitudinal veins with cross veins. Females often have reduced wings, and some species don't have any wings at all. They have large compound eyes, and all have a layer of wax that gives them that slick look and makes them hard to grab, as well as keeping the moisture in. They're big on the use of sex pheromones, which have been perversely used in the famous roach motels. The cockroach continues to be the number one urban pest, but roach motels may soon be driven out of business by the ongoing development of birth control for cockroaches. Some species are good stridulators. Stridulators? Great word, which means the production of sound by rubbing one body surface against another. As many a roach knows, there's nothing more fun than getting together with the guys to hang and stridulate. Some males secrete an aggregation pheromone, and after the party has begun, the females hit them with a volatile sex pheromone. From then on, it gets hot and steamy. Roaches produce an oothica, which is a structure of parallel rows of eggs. The number of oothica differs with species. The American roach deposits an average of 50 per female, each with 12 to 14 eggs, while the German roach averages 5 with 40 eggs. Whoosh! Some balabarids are oviviparous, hatching live young. To do this, the eggs have mucho yolk, and water is provided by the mother, internally of course. Cockroaches have incomplete metamorphosis, so that's not Papa Roach and family, but rather three nymphs. Roaches defend themselves by running, flying off, kicking with sharp spines that resemble a medieval mace, or by emitting a foul smell that just kills your appetite. Oh. 
The majority of species live in the tropics. They are most active at night. There seems to be vertical segregation of species from the canopy to the forest floor. Many species are found in bromeliads, and even one species is known to swim well. But not this one, evidently. Most feed on bark, leaves, fruits, and even roots. However, in a pinch, they'll eat almost anything, like book bindings, cable coverings, and even the buttons on your phone. Differentiating cockroach families is actually difficult, so you should consult your local doctor, that is, a PhD in entomology. Several families are found in Costa Rica. The largest in size are the Blabberidae. They have just one to three spines on the fore femur and no or few spines on the hind and middle femur. Curiously, they exhibit subsocial behavior. Is that like in high school? This death's head roach can live up to four years, which is an eternity in the insect world, and that's plenty of time for some serious bonding and to conduct perverse experiments. They may have even provided inspiration for inner city activities. Certain Bolabora species feed on crap and dead bodies that they find in burrows and hollow trees. The Bladidae are mostly tropical species, like this harlequin roach. They can be distinguished by the even row of spines on the first femur and the equal long slender styli of the male. The female has a divided last plate of the abdomen. Those little projections called cerci are just loaded with high-tech stuff to sense vibrations, sound, and air movements. Surely redheads have more fun. The green roaches have traveled the world by getting into shipments of tropical fruit. While not feeding on cruise ship cuisine, they eat palm trunks back at home in the rainforest. Talk about fiber in the diet. Wild roaches are always cleaning themselves. So comes the expression, cleanliness is next to roachliness. Blatellidae are the most common in North America. To tell this family apart, whip out your hand lens and see if there are many spines on the back side of the middle and hind femurs. Then see if there are a little longer spines followed by smaller spines on the fore femur. If it's a female, she won't have a divided last plate of the abdomen. They also have two or three apical spines on the fore femur. Wood roaches have just one or two apical spines, if any, on the hind leg, and the abdominal plate covers the cerci. The wood roaches digest wood with the help of symbiotic flagellate protozoa, which are lost between each molt, but they are regained when the nymph eats the feces of other adults. The first bite is always the hardest. Since cockroaches survive most of man's poisons, including radiation, they stand a good chance of inheriting the planet. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no puede caminar, porque no tiene, porque le falta marihuana. Hey man, pass the roach. <laughs>